Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. A very warm welcome to today's session. Uh, my name is Justin Gout, and I'm one of the marketing manager at Kelton Tech. I'll be your host for this session, and joining along with me, I have two panelists. Uh, one is Ms. Patty DiMarco, uh, who is the regional sales manager at Kelton Tech. And we also have our speaker for today's session, that's Mr. Praveen Changani, uh, who is the director of Digital Connector Enterprise Business Unit at Kelton Tech. And uh, briefing a bit about Praveen, Praveen has over 17 years of experience in the IT industry, implementing IBM technology solutions, especially in the areas of uh, business process modeling, BRMS, SOA architecture, and enterprise application integration. And before we get started, uh, let me go over a little housekeeping. Um, you know, should you have any questions during the presentation, please uh, feel free to type them in, in the questions box that you see towards the right side of your screen uh, in the go to webinar control panel and i will bring them up to our speaker at the end of the session we will plan to leave uh, five minutes uh, towards the end of the session to take down your questions and as a reminder this session is being recorded and will be made available to you via email uh, following the webinar so that's it with the housekeeping and without any further ado let's go let's go ahead and uh, get started uh, over to you patty Yes, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to, to all of you who took time out of your day to be part of Kelton Tech's IBM BlueWorks Live, Model and Improve Your Business Processes. Uh, thank you so very, very much. Uh, a bit about myself, I'm a regional sales manager, as my colleague Justin mentioned. I have about 20 years of experience in the healthcare, the pharmaceutical, and the manufacturing industry lines. About Kelton Tech, Here's a bit. We're 25 years old or young, however you want to say it, peppered throughout the United States of America from New Jersey to and including California. But we also have locations in Europe. We have it in Dublin and we have it in the UK as well. We also have it in Gogao and Hyderabad in India. So we are everywhere. We have what you and I would label a global presence. We are a tried and true technology company which provides services to clientele basically ranging from your startup to an include Fortune 500 companies. We are recently in the past year a CMMI level five certified company and we possess over one dozen center of excellence in which we have various technology subject matter experts of which you'll be enjoying our IBM version as we are a center of excellence practice professional with IBM. We have over 100, uh, 1,100 employees with over 325 located in the United States alone. Our primary goal today, and thank you again for joining, is to discuss IBM's Blue Works Live as it relates to improvement on the business process discovery services side. What it's about. What can it do for you, your department? your company as a whole, basically thereby making it run more efficiently and clearly more effectively. In addition to uh, Kelton Tech providing services, which is part of what we're discussing today, we are also a reseller. And so without further ado on my part, I will hand the baton over to my colleague, Director of IBM Solutions, Praveen Chengani. Thank you, Praveen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Patty and Justin. Uh, and uh, hello, everybody. My name is Praveen Changani, and I want to thank you and welcome you uh, to our webinar series from the Digital Connected Enterprise at Kelson Tech. So let's get started. As we know, technology is really the biggest story in, in business today, plain and, I mean, plain and simple. Uh, but business processes are you know, and decisions are really the backbone of every company and every organization, whether it's from the small to the Fortune 500. It's these processes and decisions that can really create uh, competitive advantage and help the business react much more quickly and adapt towards uh, market trends. The process is really the map, uh, and you can think of it as something that gives you the competitive edge, but it's also something uh, that can, you know, 
create inefficiencies and tends to kind of have gaps and, and pain points. And that's really the purpose for using a phenomenal product such as IBM's BlueWorks Live product to then engage in uh, a pro what we call a process discovery. So IBM BlueWorks Live provides a single shared repository uh, where all the stakeholders can, can basically find a single version of truth about any process and it facilitates successful process improvement projects, uh, enabling all the users in the process improvement team to be aligned with the process goals, uh, the objectives, um, any potential areas of improvement or problem points that uh, the business wants to improve and maybe save some cost or accelerate. So uh, the beauty with IBM BlueWorks Live, which is part of, by the way, the, the smarter process package that IBM offers, uh, and it's a SaaS-based product, so there's no complicated install or, um, uh, you know, <clears throat> the kind of product where that would take months to, it's very easy. You can literally go to the browser, uh, type in blueworkslive.com, get registered for a 30-day trial version, uh, and you can start mapping out your processes. And what I'm going to do is towards the end of the presentation, hopefully spend just a couple of minutes uh, showing you a small, a small demo uh, that illustrates the power of um, BlueWorks Live and really how it enables your organization to think in terms of capturing first the business process model, capturing the pain points, uh, the inefficiencies, the metrics around that, and then uh, basically setting a charter for the future state or the process that is sort of the new and improved version 2.0. And I'll, I'll walk you through a little bit about how, uh, how, that, how that's done in, in BlueWorks Live itself. <clears throat> Uh, so, let's see here. Okay, so Patty, thank you very much. Patty gave us, uh, you know, a uh, the background on the company. So I'm not going to go through that. Uh, the main thing here is that we are a global IT solutions company and that we have been a, an IBM premier business partner for over 20 years. Um, and we, where Kelton Tech comes in is we offer best in class um, business process management, integration solutions, uh, that enable business and organizations on their path to a successful digital transformation. Uh, and uh, so this is a little bit about who we are uh, and the various uh, core business units that we have at Kelton Tech. Each of these different business units offers, has a different offerings. Today's webinar is being sponsored by the one that's in the middle, the, to your right-hand side of the screen, the green, the light green color, Digital Connected Enterprise. And this business unit um, and division is concerned with uh, basically uh, connecting your systems of engagement, your systems of differentiation with your backend systems of records. So everything that falls within the middleware brand uh, of IBM is, um, is something that we cover. <clears throat> On the next slide, we have a partial list of our customers by industry. There are many more customers, uh, but of course it's, it's hard to you know, fit all of that in one slide. So, but this should kind of give you an idea of who we work with um, in retail, manufacturing, energy utilities, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the digital connected enterprise is really about taking that enterprise that at, at present uh, and from the last 20, 30 years of building up core systems and applications has at times become disjointed. So your HR systems don't always talk to the payroll systems uh, and your timesheets don't always sync up with uh, your middleware uh, systems of that sort. So what we do in, in the connected enterprise business unit is we offer core services portfolio. So this is kind of um, basically the menu. I'm not going to go through all of this, but as you can see, uh, the, we offer complete end-to-end -end IT solutions, portfolio management, advisory services, architectural uh, strategy, cloud enablement, so BPM solutions, um, you know, DevOps, just to name a few. Uh, this, is, this slide talks a little bit about our industry solutions and domain expertise. So in banking and finance, uh, we have uh, treasury services such as payment and Forex gateways. 
We have, we do specialize in SWIFT integration, obviously with business process modeling and optimization. Uh, we have solution accelerators around loan origination, account opening, risk and regulatory. On the ERP, <clears throat> excuse me, on the retail and manufacturing side, we have ERP integration, uh, omni-channel services architecture, uh, pause and e-commerce integration. And then there are other similar solution accelerators uh, and frameworks that we offer in other industries as well. <clears throat> Patty talked a little bit about our, our uh, IBM practice, 1,500 consultants um, and the leadership team located globally in US, UK, Ireland, and India. Um, and we offer very specialized offerings with respect to actually helping you build that business process center of excellence we go through readiness assessments, um, questionnaires, the migration of your uh, BPM instances um, or your business rules management systems. Uh, and we offer very extensive reference architecture pattern, uh, patterns for uh, your particular environment as well. Uh, one of the things that's unique about Kelton Tech in our practice is that um, we work across many different industries using products just like BlueWorks Live, uh, but then we're also invested internally into non-revenue generating operations and labs from which we are able to then take, go, to, go to the market with cutting edge solutions such, such as frameworks, uh, you know, UI kits, things of that sort. <clears throat> um, the, the, the Digital Connected Enterprise uh, Business Process Management unit focuses on a very core set of capabilities. And the way that, the, that this unit is aligned is it's focused strictly on delivering a core set of capabilities with multiple products. In this case, IBM, uh, BlueWorks Live, uh, IBM BPM, which is sort of the, the business process management um, product that handles the automation and the integration aspects. Once you have built everything from BlueWorks Live, and then also IBM ODM, which is Operational Decision Manager, which helps in uh, automating the business rules and the architecture uh, for, for that, that, uh, that piece. So one of the things in the core capabilities, you'll see that there are various different um, aspects that we offer, but business process discovery is a key service offering that Kelton Tech provides. And that in, includes um, capturing the current state, the as is, the pain points, being able to map the, the process to the systems, the various systems, some which may be known, which may not be known uh, or visible as much, you know, provide the recommendations for the future process, and then certainly define and capture the future state model. That's, that's the number, that's sort of the first step in figuring out before you make any changes in your business model, you kind of need to know where you are and where you want to go. And that's done by engaging in a business process discovery. Uh, subsequent to that, we, we also offer much more advanced levels of um, uh, business process management development, integration by building, of course, your center of excellence. Uh, if you have one, we help you enhance it or, or bring about the best practices that we have uh, enabled multiple clients with. We Im implement various BPM solutions and accelerators ourselves, whether those are uh, case management or monitoring process for improvement. And then also data analytics, uh, business activity monitoring, things of that sort. So um, before we get into a little bit more of BlueWorks Live and what the product is and how you can use it, let's talk about why, why this is so relevant um, and why BlueWorks Live and a process discovery is so essential. So in the traditional um, business as usual model, what happens is, is you might have various moving pieces of a particular business model. You have very hardworking people that come in every day and try to do the best that they can. But uh, unfortunately what happens is, is sometimes business processes and people tend to get um, uh, inundated with day-to-day -day operations and tasks and they sort of are then in working in their own silos and they're not talking or collaborating as much as they possibly could. Uh, so what you have is, for example, in the slide I have, the business process could be a little inefficient. It could be ineffective, inaccurate. Maybe somebody left the company, new persons come on board. They don't have the documentation to do their tasks. 
So they're basically, you know, going around talking with, you know, John and Mary and Praveen and Patty and Justin and trying to find out, well, how do I do this task? So that visibility is also very um, important in being able to do your job and then being able to respond to the business needs and requirements in a much more rapid way than we are used to doing it. So what, what we do is we also specialize in Kel, uh, at Kelson Tech in delivering in very agile uh, methodologies. So our, our um, implementations and discoveries would last anywhere from, uh, I would say, three to eight weeks. Uh, and that at the end of that, you would get, depending on, of course, the level of detail you desire, um, give you extensive recommendations and really give the business uh, owner and really give the, the, the customer the ability to make a decision as to whether or not they want to pull lever one to maybe make a process go faster, track errors, uh, perhaps cut down on um, uh, some tasks that may or may not be needed or might not be relevant anymore perhaps make the process more compliant. So those are the types of things that you take a look at. And it's harder to do that with a process that uh, perhaps is not always up to date. And even if you try very hard using traditional methods such as Word documents or Microsoft Visio, um, I think we've all seen those, those Word documents that are like 300 pages. And I mean, trying to look through that and figuring out where a process fits where and what needs to be done to update and what sections that in itself can be, um, you know, just an unnecessary uh, non-value add task, right? So why not spend that time improving the actual business process, contributing to, towards the success of, of the business itself? So, but, so this slide basically speaks to kind of the, if you will, the chaos that occurs and the multiple point-to-point -point, uh, interactions that occur when we have a much better solution in place by using a process discovery tool by, by means of BlueWorks Live to help you streamline all that. So as the, as the title suggests, you know, business process modeling and discovery, it brings order to that, that chaos that I talked about in the previous slide. And how does it do that? If you look at the previous slide, I didn't have a, a layer here, right? So it's just multiple people interacting with different systems, but there's no particular order. And in this slide, I have now a, a layer that's in the middle, which describes perhaps the business uh, process, the activities, maybe some decision gateways, and everybody gets notified at the right time. So you're getting work um, at the right, getting the right work at the right time. Uh, and then there are also things that like escalations and things like that, that you can uh, implement on the IBM BPM side, should you choose to do that. But that's kind of the, the value uh, I'd like to say that, you know, change, um, why is change important and why do I bring the topic, the, the, the phrase change is because in order for companies to grow, they must seek out new market niches to expand into. This opportunity starts with a flexible business design first and foremost and, and, and the ability to sort of reinvent business operations. So uh, whether it's a claims process or a loan origination process, many considerations go into creating that new business model every day. So rate changes, loan tables, uh, what have you, right? So the quicker you're able to process that change uh, and the more flexible you are in being able to respond to the market changes or regulations, the better you will be able to serve your customers because at the end of the day, it's also about providing the customer, the end customer with the best possible experience. And that's why I talk about change. And so I, I talk about how um, we, we first understand what your business process is, because that's fundamental to making the change itself. Uh, and whether implicit or explicit, your organization runs on processes. And generally, you know, when you don't have visibility, it's harder to make those changes. So the first step to do is to understand, communicate, uh, and figure out where the issues are so that then you can start working towards uh, making improvements. And how we do that is um, it's, we, we offer a service, as I mentioned, a discovery service, which in, in allows customers to um, do a process mapping. So you have to, as part of the mapping process, you go through the current state, you start to map uh, the, with the workflows, you start to define the roles of people, you start orientation of the staff, 
analyze the activity, any compliance gaps, uh, perhaps one particular division in the process is maybe overloaded or inundated with work that maybe they shouldn't be doing. Uh, and another business unit, which um, uh, is perhaps using an older system that needs to be updated, uh, and it's a very slow system. But those types of gaps and um, you know eventualities in, eventually start to affect the way your business model performs and the speed. So it's very important to be able to track those. Um, so IBM came up, uh, had acquired this company a few years ago from uh, Lombardi. The, the name of the previous company was Lombardi. And they made this product so much more better in that they, they made uh, the customers being able to model their business process in a cloud, uh, in the cloud, by the way, uh, and being able to model your decisions very, very uh, simple and very and in an intuitive way. So you can capture the process, you can collaborate across teams, you can analyze and improve the business operations. And you can do this uh, on the cloud and in a collaborative way. Most of some, some of the other products that are out there, they certainly have the ability to you know, capture a business process, but they don't always have uh, the ability to do it in a collaborative real-time Matter. And that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit more. Um, so just a few, you know, uh, statistics around BlueWorks Live. It's, it's already surpassed uh, 50,000 users. Over 1,000 customers are using this today to, to improve their uh, efficiencies and their gains, uh, to reduce their pain points, and to really start to elevate their, their game when it comes to digital process automation. A digital transformation and the initiatives uh, that that fall under that those um, those um, agenda points. There's over one million processes already in the repository, and as I mentioned to you earlier, there is not there's no heavy anything that needs to be installed. It's a SaaS-based product, easy to use, single source of truth for all process models. So you don't have some information in your Word document, some in the Visio, some in you know. Uh, an Excel document, everything uh, is captured in, in the interface itself. A couple of important points to, to notate here. It, BlueWorks Live is BPMN 2.0 compliant and uh, uses, um, basically lets you toggle between detailed and high level views of sub processes as well, which is also something the Visio um, framework and the Visio tools are not able to give you. Visio traditionally gives you a very flat, uh, diagram and you have to build all these tabs and the, you have to define the numbers and if one changes then you kind of have to go back and change. Well, with, with, with BlueWorks Live, with IBM BlueWorks Live, that's not, it's a non-issue. These are the typical users uh, that are available. They're basically categorizations of people that, that have um, certain permissions and privileges to use the product. There is the editor who can create, approve, edit the, the actual process. So think of this person as somebody who comes, it would be the subject matter expert as in the technical, uh, the, the, the business process management expert who comes on site and says, let's get together, I'm gonna to start modeling the process flow. Uh, but then also that person relies heavily on, on the customer staff and the subject matter experts there uh, because they really hold the, the keys to the treasure in terms of what the business model works you know, how that operates on a day-to-day -day basis and what their roles are and how long things take. So that's where the contributor comes in is they have access to the process. They don't necessarily make changes, but they can say, well, wait a minute, Praveen, you model this process or this activity to take four hours, but it's really more like four days. Uh, so that's the contributor. And the viewer is somebody that basically just has access to view. So there's all these different, uh, you know, viewers that, that have access to the product and that's kind of how they work together. In the grand scheme of things, um, I have this slide in here to describe how the overall life cycle and the BPM realization journey works. So the number one is where you start to discover and document, you identify the process owner, the business model, uh, the process, you start to define it, the pain points. So that's really your planning or what we like to call sort of early design. Uh, and then from there, you then once you've identified that, okay, I've got these, these four processes that need to be automated because I have a staff that is inundated with doing 
all these manual tasks, and I've, I've determined that there is a reduction in cost if I automated this using a product like IBM BPM Next, then that would be sort of the next level where you start to deploy those processes. And the beauty about IBM BlueWorks Live is you can actually have a pretty nice and clean handoff into the implementation product, which is IBM BPM. Uh, and that's number two. And then from there, you sort of have number three, which is where now you've established that first level of um, of the of the workflow. You're starting to monitor KPIs, things of that sort. Uh, this slide and, and this deck will be shared with you at the end of this presentation. But I've included, we've included some some links in here that you can refer to. We have a very flexible engagement model that that uh, is available to you. Um, from Kelton Tech. And what I'd like to do now, if, if I could, is quickly jump into the actual product and just spend a couple minutes before I hand it back to, to Justin um, for any questions. So just bear with me one second. So here I am uh, logging into BlueWorks Live. And as you can see, I, I simply go to the browser uh, a browser of your choice, and once I put in my login information, it starts to load on the back end. This is a cloud-based product. Uh, all my various um, projects that I have in here that I might be working with. So I'm going to pick. Um, so this is the interface, and so I'm going to pick something that I sort of I have um, preloaded, uh, and I'm going to pick uh, a healthcare example. So if you were to take a healthcare example, healthcare is a vast, vast industry. There are various different sections, billing payments, care management, claim operations, uh, contract management. So let's say I wanted to take a look at contract management. In BlueWorks Live, I can start to define the various steps that occur. One might be establish supply contracts and manage relationships, but then also place purchase requisitions and orders, develop procurement strategy, et cetera, et cetera, right? So the way to look at this particular uh, page is you look at it from top to bottom. And so this is kind of the sequence of activities that occur in uh, my process. And the light blue boxes at the top are more like the milestone. So this needs to get completed before it moves on to this step, on to that step, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So this is uh, BlueWorks Live has three main views. It's called, it has the discovery map, which is where you brainstorm get everybody together in the room, the right people, start to map the process, identify uh, what everybody works on, how long it takes. So to, be, to give you an example, here's where I can say, these are the participants with this task, these are the business owner, the experts, the systems involved, the due date, uh, what's the cycle time, all of that stuff, great information. And what are the pain points with this task? Is this too slow? Is it, is it, uh, cumbersome to figure out how to complete the task? Is, or do we have to wait for another step before this gets completed? Are there any policies associated, regulations, compliance, uh, any attachments that I want? If there's a PDF, a Word document that I can attach to this so I can onboard a new employee sooner, quicker, faster, and any comments that maybe the contributors have as far as making this a better, uh, much more efficient step, driving more visibility into it. So the discovery map is sort of the first step in the process where you start to first just define what it looks like today, including the pain points. And from there, then you get, um, you can define the, what's known as the process diagram view. And you, you create the diagram view and depending on how complex your business process is, um, it, could, it could take a couple of minutes. But the idea is now you are looking at it in a swim lane view, which is BPM and 2.0 compliant. And you have a start and you have, you go through a sequence of activities. Notice how those milestones have now become sort of, uh, think of them as stages. So stage one is billing and payments, stage two is care management. But then there's no, there, oh, I could also do decisions. So if I wanted to add a decision which said, um, you know, what needs, there's something needs to happen. And did that happen, whatever that business rule might be, if it happens, then take a certain path. If it, do, if it did not happen, if the criteria was not met, take the, uh, the error path or take a, different, take a different route. So all those kinds of decision-making privileges you can start to define in here. And then you can analyze the process. You can say, based on uh, what I documented in the, 
in the process, tell me which steps take the longest, which are the most expensive ones, which which ones require compliance, and you can kind of start to drill in that that level. You can define snapshots. Uh, you can uh, you can you know invite other users to add uh, that can contribute to the process. You can so it can be a very collaborative type of uh, and a process improvement process. And last but not least, it's the documentation phase. Remember how I talked about how you know we, historically we've seen those 300-page doc, word documents that complement a process. Well, now you don't have to separately do that. As you put information into the, the process in Blue Art Slide, it generates a lot of this information for you in a very nice sort of uh, printed format. Uh, and so if you wanted to know, if you wanted to give this to somebody that was just starting coming on board and you wanted to explain to them how clinical support works uh, or contract management, what's involved in contract management, what are the steps involved, et cetera, et cetera. You can start to, you, as you can see, the value is that it's tremendous in how you can, uh, you know, quickly enable them to with, with the information and then uh, get them to, to be much more efficient in what they do. You can, uh, as I mentioned, build snapshots and you can publish models over time that you feel have reached um, a, a certain stage of maturity. And finally, you can then start to hand this, these requirements over to IT and have a collaborative discussion with IT as opposed to saying, well, here's a 300-page Word document. You know, I'm going to throw this across the wall. You know, the engineers go and build the process, automate the process, and come back to me in three months. Thankfully, with BlueWorks Live, we don't have to do that anymore. And uh, that's why this is such a key offering uh, that that both IBM and, you know, obviously Kelton Tech in partnership with IBM offers to its customers. Thank you. Uh, and I apologize, I went a little over time, but I want to, I'm going to hand this back over to Justin now to see if there were any questions. Thank you, Praveen. Uh, that was really a cool demo uh, pertaining to IBM BlueWorks Live and especially healthcare. Uh, yes, uh, we do have a couple of questions coming in from uh, from the audience. Uh, and audience, uh, you know, while we take the existing questions, you know, please feel free to drop any additional questions that you might have. Uh, so, uh, so Praveen, here's the first one uh, that we have. Uh, is it possible to import existing business process documentation that we have spent uh, putting that into Microsoft Visio? Yes, it is. Um, and so if you have already made an investment in Microsoft Visio uh, diagrams and you now had the thought that, oh, oh, do I really have to go through this effort of migrating everything into BlueWorks Live? It's um, The beauty with the BlueWorks Live product is that it has a built-in import feature which allows you to basically import all your Visio diagrams into uh, the BlueWorks Live product and then help formatted into BPMN 2.0 compliant. So that's, uh, it saves a lot of time from having to do it from scratch with some of the other uh, vendor products. Um, you know, unfortunately you have to go through with them, uh, but with BlueWorks Live you don't have. So that's a, that's a really value add. Thank you, Praveen. Uh, here's the second one. Is it necessary to have a business process center of excellence in an organization prior working on a process improvement initiative using BlueWorks Live? It is not necessary to have a BPM process uh, center of excellence in order for you to do BlueWorks Live projects. However, um, centers of excellence that we have built, um, we generally recommend to customers to use best practices. So that means what? That means standards, compliance, building modules in certain ways, documenting the process in a certain way. Uh, so that way, if imagine if you have a corporate structure where business units come to you and they say, let us build uh, the business process models in, in uh, BlueWorks Live, that's a, that is, if you had a center of excellence, you could kind of give them that that onus in, in, instead of having IT to build all that all the time, because IT is usually inundated with day-to-day -day development tasks and monitoring and things like that. So although you don't have, you don't need a center of excellence to build BlueWorks Live, um, depending on your organization and how the business processes are aligned uh, between business and IT, sometimes that's um, a good thing to have, but not a requirement. 
Well, thank you, Praveen. Uh, and here is the last one we have. Uh, how long does a typical process discovery take with BlueWorks Live? It could take anywhere from just a couple of weeks to longer, you know, eight weeks or more. And that really depends on what you're trying to achieve. There are various levels uh, of depth that one can go into, as I was starting to just show briefly on the product itself. Uh, so, but it's at the end of the day, it's what you're trying to do, what's your initiative around with, with respect to process improvement? Is it that you just want to get visibility into your business process, uh, maybe make it just compliant, maybe automation is not really uh, part of your, your quest? Uh, but depending on, on the level of depth you're looking for, there are various levels of maturity. And we, by the way, we uh, make that assessment during the pro process discovery phase itself. And at that point, we recommend uh, that um, well, if you wanted to actually go about implementing this process and these changes, that this is how long it would take, and these are the kinds of people uh, and subject matter experts that would be needed. But typical process discovery times are anywhere from a, just a couple of weeks uh, to you know having a few consultants on board that have that technical expertise and the ability to uh, bring people together, both business and IT stakeholders and subject matter experts. Uh, anywhere from that couple of weeks to, you know, four to five or even longer, eight weeks at times. So it's all relative, but those are some typical guidelines. Any other questions? Thank you, Praveen. Um, it looks like uh, that's all we have uh, for now. Uh, okay. But again, uh, audience, thank you very much for being attentive all through the session and, uh, sh uh, you know, sharing us your questions. And if you, got, if you have got any additional questions, I know, please uh, feel free to respond to the email address, uh, you know, that you have, that you have received uh, through the webinar invite, and uh, we will be happy to respond. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, you know, you will have uh, the webinar recording, uh, and as well, the presentation will be shared with you individually via email. And, uh, you know, please uh, uh, have a tab on your inbox. Uh, you might receive it in a few days. And thank you again for joining us this morning. Uh, you have been a fantastic audience. And if you would like more information, please uh, feel free to visit our website, www.caltentech.com. Thank you, and you have a, a wonderful day. Thanks, Justin, Patty, and everybody. Thank you all.